In this problem, we have to find the critical numbers of this function. So critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the function where the derivative is zero or undefined. So we'll start this problem by taking the derivative and looking at it and then setting it equal to zero. So f prime of x is equal to, let's see, so using the power rule, we'll do 2 times 6, that gives us 12. So we have 12x, and then here the derivative of 8x is 8, so minus 8, and that's equal to 0. So here's where we look at the derivative, and we notice that it's not undefined, so now we just go ahead and solve for x. So uh, we'll add 8 to both sides. So we have 12x equals 8. And divide by 12, so divide by 12, divide by 12. That gives us x equals 8 over 12, which uh, can be reduced uh, to 2 over 3, right? Uh, 4 goes into 8 twice, goes into 12 three times. And that would be our critical number in this problem. Remember, critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the function where the derivative is undefined or zero. So when we took the derivative, we noticed it wasn't undefined. There wasn't anything funky. We weren't dividing by zero. There's no square roots. We solved for the answer. And you can check. You're supposed to always mentally check, right, when you get your answers. Can you take this number and plug it back in here? Yes, you can, right? You're not going to, like, divide by zero. Like, if you had something like this, and you got this as an answer, then you would just cross it out because you can't plug in two-thirds. But that didn't happen in this problem. You know, we have a nice polynomial, so uh, no issues at all. That's it.